Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My one Hindu brother was asking me about the Islamic system of marriage. Means uh, all, all of four marriages. Uh, how can I give him the satisfactory answer? And how can we prove that is the most correct and most suitable? Brother asked a uh, very common question that how can I convince a non-Muslim that Islam gives permission to have more than one wife? Four wives, how can I convince him? How can I prove that this is the best? Nowhere does Islam say that four marriages is the best. Or Islam gives permission. In fact, Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which says marry only one. You read all the other scriptures, whether you read the Mahabharat, Ramayan, Bhagavad Gita, Bible, no religious scripture on the face of the earth says marry only one except the Quran. If you read the Hindu scriptures, Ramayan, the father of Ram, King Dashrath, he had three wives. Krishna, how many wives he had? Four, ten, twenty, thousand, sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives. So Krishna had 16,108 wives, so why can't we Muslim have at least four? So what is the problem? If you read the Christian scriptures, Christian scriptures, if you read the Bible, Solomon had 700 wives, Abraham in the Bible had three wives. So in Hinduism, Christianity, Judaism, you can marry as many wives as you wish, four, five, ten, thousand, ten thousand, no upper limit. It is later on, the Christian church, which put a ban and said that the Christian should not marry more than one. It is the Jewish rabbi, mentioned in Yehuda, he passed a synod that the Jews should not marry more than one wife. Otherwise, in 1950, in the Jewish community, in the Sephardic communities, where Jews live with Muslims, there the Jews had more than one wife. It is later on when the synod was passed that they stopped it. Even Hindus, according to the scriptures, they can marry as many as they wish. It is the Indian Penal Code in 1954, which passed a law called Hindu Marriage Act, that a Hindu cannot marry more than one wife. It is the Indian government but the Hindu scriptures give you permission you can marry as many as you wish. And if you read the census of the status of women in Islam, on page number 66 and 67 it says that the polygamous marriages died in a span of 10 years between 1951 to 1961. The Muslims had 4.31. 4.31 percentage of the Muslims, they did polygamous marriages, they married more than one. The Hindus was 5.06. The Hindus did more polygamous marriages as compared to the Muslims in a span of 10 years between 1951 to 1961. So if you read the Quran, as I mentioned, Quran is the only religious book which says marry only one. If you read the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 3, it says, marry women of a choice in twos, threes or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. So this statement, marry only one, is only given in the Quran and no other religious scripture. But the Quran also says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 129, that it is difficult to do justice between your wives. But don't turn away from them altogether. So you can marry more than one wife on the condition that you can do justice between them. So marrying more than one wife is not further than Islam. It is optional. It's not compulsory. It's optional. If you marry, no problem. But if you marry, you should do justice. So let us analyze the various logical and scientific reasons that why Islam gives permission for certain men to have more than one wife. If you analyze, by nature, male and female are born in equal proportion. But if you ask any pediatrician, any doctor, who is a children's doctor, he will tell you that there are more deaths among the male children as compared to female children. Because the female child can fight the germs and diseases much better than the male child. So in the pediatric age itself, there are more females as compared to males. As life goes on, there are more male dying as compared to females due to cigarette smoking, due to alcoholism, due to war. So today in the world, there are more females as compared to males. Except in the third world country like India and China, etc., where the female population is less than the male population because of female infanticide. In India, according to Emily Beckin, a British reporter from BBC, she says that every year more than one million fetuses are being aborted after they identified that they're females. So if we stop this evil practice of female fetuside, even in India, the population of the females will be more than the males. But in all the other countries, there are more females as compared to males. In New York alone, there are 1 million females more than males. In USA alone, there are 7.8 million females more than males. In Germany alone, there are 5 million females more than males. In UK alone, there are 4 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 9 million females more than males. And Allah alone knows how many millions of females are more than the males throughout the world. So if I agree with your friend, or the non-Muslim, that one man should only marry one woman. And suppose the market in America is saturated, that every man has found a woman for himself. Your sister or my sister happens in America. And if she has not found a life partner, the only option for her is that she either marries a man who already has a wife or she becomes public property. 
people say, public property is such a hash word. It is the most sophisticated word I can say. There's no two options. Either you marry a man who already has a wife or become public property. So Islam has permitted polygamy, certain men to have more than one wife, to protect the modesty of the women. Hope that answers the question.